So you may or may not be aware of what uh, went on, uh, particularly this morning, but to be honest, it's been a long time coming. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is probably coming out week after it, but uh, on Friday morning, this morning, uh, I'm filming at what? Just gone 8 o'clock. Uh, so this morning, um, basically, all the prison guards uh, are up and down the UK basically went on strike. Uh, basic, uh, well, because they've had enough. Uh, there's no other way to, to put it. Um, you've had increased uh, problems in prisons, predominantly to do with assaults on prison officers. You've had multiple reports about prisoners obtaining illegal objects, all the you know usual stuff, in very easy ways, and the prison service has got the blame. And they've turned around every single time and said, we can't do anything about it, we don't have the manpower. Why don't they have the manpower? Well, <laughs> if you talk to um, or have seen any of the particularly right-wing blogs talking about this, they're highly annoyed and are blaming it not on uh, the prison service, but on the prisoners. It's the prisoners that are too violent and it's the uh, government that is holding back these uh, prison officers from doing the right thing and that is an absolute bag of wank. I can tell you that now. Um, I have a friend, uh, used to work at Wakefield uh, Prison, what, we left there, what, two or three years ago it must be now, and some of the stories um, would shock you, um, you know, I, I, in fact I would love to get him on camera sometime and actually talk about some of these stories, I might try and do that, because he's better coming from him rather than... Uh, me second hand but all these problems and you'll see most of this of what these the right wing uh, people on YouTube aren't are ignoring is the root cause of this because it's not just in the prison service it's in the police as well all this crime that have been going on in the streets even though certain crimes numbers are down drastically um, but there are certain crimes around the country, particularly violent crime, that has risen. And this is because both the prison service and the police don't have the resources. What are these resources? Mostly it comes down to money and being able to pay people to provide that resource. That's basically what it comes down to. It's as simple as that. And where has all this money uh, been taken away from them? Oh yes, austerity. Who was the person that took it away from them? Oh, that's right, Theresa May when she was Home Secretary. <laughs> you know, that is the, I, this is the root cause of this entire scenario. And the prison prison officers, if you've been listening uh, very, very often, um, uh, most out of left field, you'll hear, tend to hear little rumours uh, come out about, you know, Prison service of warning about conditions in prisons, saying that they don't have enough money to do stuff, yada 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 yada. And this is what it's resulted in. They've been shouting about this for, uh, what, the last at least five or six years, as far as back I can think back now, if not even longer than that, probably since austerity started. Why? They need these resources so that they can do their job properly and effectively. And as usual, the Tories basically took the money away because austerity and reasons, apparently. And as we all know, austerity does not work. You know, you've got to have a plan. Austerity by itself is pointless. You've got to have a plan to be able to take it forward, to do some investment. And as usual, the Tories... Bizarrely, I always say that, you know, especially the Tory government is very short-sighted when it comes to long-term planning. However, austerity has probably been their most long-term plan, and it just keeps on uh, going and going. And if you think austerity is bad now, wait until Brexit happens, because that will be another excuse to start cutting public spending. So if you think things are bad in the prison system now, if you think that, uh, you know, crime 
your area is only on the up. It could be on the down. It depends where you are in the country. Crime statistics, depending on different crimes. You know, the police need more resources. The NHS needs more money. The obvious uh, answer to this is you need to raise taxes. You need to start, I think, to have a cross-party selection on tax reform and basically take this to a 10-year plan. Uh, it's going to take 10 years to do and basically you're going to go back to uh, tear out what the tax code is, what, 100 and something odd pages. And basically what they need to do is go back to page one, start from the beginning, erase everything and just start again. And just write a tax code from scratch. That's what we really need to do in this country because ours is just a complete mess. Um, I'm not going to go into it because even that confuses me when I try to go into it. That's why I have an accountant. He does these things for me. He does this stuff for me. It's far more effective. Um, and that's where we are at this moment in time. There is a serious problem in the government. And this problem today is a symptom of Tory austerity going, well, we'll just have to have more cuts. We'll have to have more cuts. These cuts aren't working, so we'll have to have more cuts. Cutting money is can sometimes be an effective option, but it is not always the best option because that always means you have less resources to do X with. And very often, you need to sort out different ways to solve your problem. Cutting money from it and just saying, oh, we'll just cut the money from it, no problem. So next time you see, or if you see someone on the right wing complaining about this, Basically, you've got to look at what's the root cause of the problem. And this is what, ironically, normally is the root cause of many of, of what I see of many of the UK YouTubers. They do not address the root cause or go into the deep specifics or go back to what the root cause of this problem is. And it is the Tory government that we have currently at the moment and their austerity programme. Now, why don't they talk about that, I wonder?